Hello everyone, I'm Ron and today we are diving into XMind, a powerful and intuitive mind mapping tool designed to help you brainstorm, organize ideas and collaborate with your team. Whether you are new to mind mapping or just exploring XMind's features, this video will show you how to get started and make the most of this incredible tool. Right, for those who don't know, XMind is a versatile mind mapping tool, ideas and collaborate in real time. You can install this, yeah, you can install it in your system, right, I will show you how you can do that. But without wasting any time, just go to Google, search for XMind, click on this first thing. This is official um, a page here. Now let's go and talk about a pricing a little bit here, right? It's going to play a major role. So it gives you a three to your plan. The first one is a free, which is completely free here, but it gives you 10 credits for trial for the AI features and three days version history, right? Because obviously it's free, so it has a limited features. The second plan comes at pro and there's a third one that is a premium right and you can come to this website or pause the video you can compare each and everything by yourself here now if i just go to the monthly monthly is slightly expensive and you can also buy it for your team right it's quite affordable here now let's get back here you will find two options try online and download application so both of the way work perfectly fine if you use a lot then it will be best if you just download it otherwise you can simply use it on any of your browser so you have to make an id i will just go with the google one you can enter your just a normal email address if you want i use google because it's easy and efficient to me create an id so simply just go and click on continue here right within few seconds your id is made and we are into logging into xmind now we have to just enter our first name and last name here right and then we have to set up the password click on continue then it will ask you whether you want to use it for personal use or for the teamwork everything is same the dashboard is same nothing get changed but here you can choose any one of this feature if you choose your team it will ask you, it might ask you some of this question. You can always skip this because it's not much important. Now simply click on continue and this is the, okay, let's get back here. This is the exact dashboard of your XMind. It could be in white mode. I have, I think it is in the in black mode here, right? And I will explain you each and everything. So to create an account, it's really easy. Once you watch the video till the end, and if you get, um, if you make your mind to buy the subscription, you can always buy these, pay any of the subscription of XMind. Please go, there's a link given in the description, please use that. On the left side, you will see this is your profile icon, right? And inside profile icon, you will see your account settings and this FAQ and feedback, very important, not very important, but yeah, pretty much everywhere it's available, right? Inside your account, you can change your email, your name, right? You can change the newsletter frequency. Yes, XMind send newsletter to your email. So you can just opt out or opt in for it. You can change the language of the entire tool. This is an external storage. Right. Now on there's a recent tab. So obviously whatever you're working, it will show up recent. You can see here this I just opened right now. It is showing me in the recent. You can share it with your team, with anybody. Now this is a trash icon. So whatever you delete, it will show up here. But after 30 days, it will get deleted. So make sure it just a way, right? It, it is really helpful because uh, you might some way, if you just delete something, um, you know, by mistake, if you delete something, then it will show up in the trash section here and you can just recover it. Okay, so now let's get here, which is basically the main interface here. Now, as we know that XMind is uh, used for mind mapping tool that allow you to brainstorm visualize ideas and collaborate in real time and obviously we'll talk about so these are the preset for example this is a mind map login a logic chart right brace map and there's a lot more so what is a preset basically let me show you some of the preset here you can see there's a lot of templates or preset whatever you can say it so we'll call it template here now if you just go and click on all Let's say you want for the knowledge management. So just go and select knowledge management. It will show you some of the templates of knowledge management. Or you can just go specific. This is for the creative purposes, right? Now, what is this? Basically, you can see this is locked. So it means once you buy the subscription, then only you will be able to access. But yeah, you can access almost all the uh, templates here. But 
some of them are not exactly free. Now I will just go and select your meeting and planning, right? Now this is a business plan. So let's say in some cases, if you have or in your team, if you're responsible to make a business plan, so you don't have to make it completely from scratch. You can just come and select any of the preset and you will um, just um, land it to this entire board here. And I will show you how you can just access it and use it, right? So basically you can zoom it and zoom out from here, right? So let's say I want to go with the 50 and I can just move with the help of mouse, right? So this is a business plan. So I don't have to exactly, you know, make it completely from scratch. So I don't have to make this square, right? Text already it is then, uh, already it is there. But let's say I want to add something so I can always have the freedom to add. So let's say this is a target market, right? It is pretty important segment, but let's say I don't want it here. So I can just move it at here, right? And automatically it's showing me. Well, but let's say, you know, here you can see if you double click on it, you will able to edit that stuff here. Uh, let's say this is a target or let's say I will just write here target country. So I always have the freedom to change anything, whatever you want in the uh, templates right now let's say you want to dissect this up right you want to minimize this too well dissected thing so if i just go and click on here it will show me everything now let's say this is completely different i want to add something else right i will, I will give you a complete tutorial but this is just a basic thing here right so you have the complete freedom and that is really a nice way and you can edit it anything for example this is image i want to put it here i want to put it there whatever it is right you can share it you can present it in your front of your team to your bosses to your shareholders and you can just do a lot of stuff okay so this is what you know a template is used for now let's say i want to just create from scratch so i will just go and click on create new and it will load a tab now this is a basic thing here which will available now let's say i want to delete it completely I will just click and hold and select it all and just uh, press delete button on my keyboard right or simply just right click on it and you might get this option so it's not any option to delete but yeah i can just delete it like this let's say i want to delete this i will select it here and i will just click on press on delete right or i can just edit this stuff here right so pretty much easy if i just press ctrl plus z or basically you can see everything will be come back Right, so these are the basic, uh, you know, keyboard shortcut that is used in fact every tool, right? Now, let's say I want to create a box, right? So how I can do that? So, let, so let's say this is the main box here, right? Whatever it is. Now, once I just go and select here, and if I want to create a connecting subtopic, so once I press on it, automatically it will add a subtopic. Now, let's say I want to add a subtopic to this section. So, if I just go ahead and press on here, it will create a subtopic. So, let's say I want to create another subtopic. So, once I press on it, automatically it will create another subtopic. So, this is a very efficient way. Now, let's say I want to create a topic, right? So, you can just do this. For example, let's say I've uh, selected the main part here. I'll click on main uh, create a subtopic. So, main topic basically. So, it will just create a main topic here right and i can just keep doing this let's say i've selected this subtopic and i want to create a main topic from it it will create it right so you can just use it in this way and this is really useful now in some cases let's say you don't want it so you can just delete press delete and it will everything will be get deleted right and you want to edit this up so you double click on it and you can just add it something whatever you want to add so that is pretty much easy now let's say i've selected this box right and i want to create a relationship so i will just go and click on here now let's say I want to create a relationship with a completely different section main topic. So I will just go and select here. Now this is a floating topic. So you can just write here connected topic or something like that, right? And if I just press on it, I can create a subtopic or topic for it. So this is a subtopic, right? So in this way, I can just do this. And here if I just zoom out here, you can see this is a connecting join. So if I just press on it, it will minimize it. So it will not delete, it will minimize. So for example, let's say, I have a lot of subtopics here okay i think okay i have to just select this one create a subtopic 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 and let's see it has also a subtopic here so it's basically it can minimize it so i want to minimize it complete section so it will minimize it here six let's say i want to minimize this subtopic one and here so it can also help me to minimize this let's say this one is if i want to minimize this here right actually it's uh i don't think it is possible right it should give me an option to minimize the entire thing but it's not now let's say you want to adjust this entire line so you always have the freedom to adjust the entire line right and you can just make it in a really you know however you want 
So this is really a cool thing here and here, you can see that is really nice. Now let's say you want to add a comment. So you have to share it to anybody and you want to add a comment. So same day you can get this option, right? And let's say you want to add a comment here. So you can just write it, fix this issue. Let's say this is a comment and I can tag my team member just by pressing add, right? And press on enter. So anybody can see this. There's a comment by somebody from my team and they want to reply. They can always reply to here, right? So it's really easy. Once I press on enter, then I will be able to reply. If I want to pin this stuff, I can always pin this stuff. Right, so if I just pin it, so it will not get minimized. I have to go and pin it, right? And once you take your mouse cursor here, then only you will be able to view it. Now, let's say you want to add a node. So you can see here, there's other features too. Now, let's have selected this, right? And let's select this one. Now, basically, it's already you know you can create a line, which is this one. Now, let's move to the next tool, which is basically this one. So if I just go and click on it, it will create an outer line right and this outer line is really useful here right so let's say i want to connect outer line with this one and if i just press on it i can just adjust it right or let's say i want to connect a line from here so i'll just select this part here right and i can just connect with this one i can completely adjust the line however i want let's say i just like it in this way so pretty much useful now it will create extra barrier and you can see here there's a plus icon so what is this plus icon so once i just click on plus icon i will just write here important segment so it will just add a tag so this tag is really useful and this is why they add extra border or extra exterior border whatever you can say now let's say there's another thing i want to add a note so let's say this is a central topic i want to add a note here so i will just write here this is a important section right so i can just put a note now there's a difference between a comment and note so a note is basically for ourselves a comment anybody can view this and a note can be also be viewed let's say this is a main topic but i want to add a description to it i want to let's say i'm working on a topic right let's say i'm into the market and this is a, a topic video a topic name and i will just connect our notes so note will have a complete script right so this is really useful and the note can go as long as you want and this, it has a basic tool for example, I want to segregate into the bullet points, numbers, and I can even add a link here. So let's say I will just write here www.google.com and just press on enter, right? So if somebody click on here, they can just go to one of the, you know, link, which is, which I have mentioned here. So it is really useful for mind mapping and it is also useful for researching part, right? And let's say you want to add a link to this section. So you can just go and press on this link icon and you can paste the link here. Let's say www.google.com com and it will exactly insert all information from here so if somebody comes and click on here you will see this there's a new icon so if this is an icon of a link so if somebody click on it they will redirect it to the new section and it will take you to directly that new link page which you have attached right now what is basically this box here so let's click on this now this is basically um it's, it's a paid plan so we cannot use it but yeah this is simply like a checkbox you can use it now it has some more tools for example it's a label so this section you can see it has mentioned as important this is not a label so label could be something different let me show you so once i click on label now let's say i will just write here label and i will just write here try one right so you can see here it will show something like this in a very invisible way right and there's a difference between note there's a difference between this section extra border and there's a difference between a label so if somebody comes through the label, they can figure out, oh, this is a high priority, something like that. Right, so you can create a label. Now, if you want to insert an image, how you can do that? So I will just click on local image. Let's say I want to bring this uh, woman photo here. So I can just put it in whatever section I have selected. Now, automatically, it will give me an option to resize the image. Now, let's say I want to make it a little bigger. So it will create a little bigger or something like that, right? So in this way, you can also bring up these images and everything here. Now you will find this option so this is also a paid plan but it is completely used for something else here and this is a comment now this is an ai so how ai we can use it so i'll just write here i want to create a mind map on let's say reorganize or explain so let's have just one entire explanation of uh, the entire board right so it will just create explanation for me and i can just read it so it will save me a lot of time it will give me a short brief that what is happening and what is the entire board the information is mentioned here now let's say i want to reorganize on demand so if i just put it here organize it 
right? I'm just giving very simple now order here and let's see how it works. But the AI feature is not exactly free. This is a very powerful tool. It can save you a hell lot of time. But now obviously you need to buy the paid plan. I think it gives you only three or four uh, free use of AI. So I'll just go and click on view now. Now it has created the entire thing here, right? And it just changed the entire layout. So AI is pretty much useful in that. And you can use it, right? And this is the how you can access it. Now let's say you want to share it with anybody. Just go and click on share and you can publish it you can invite your team member and you can work on a real-time simultaneously with each other right and you can share it with um, you know just copy the map link and you can share it and let's say you want to present it up so click on present it and it will show you incompletely in a good presentation so this is central topic and this looks phenomenal very good right and this is really a cool tool let's say okay i mean the presentation was really short but I hope you got this point and this could be a really game changer because it aesthetically it looks really cool, right? And this is comment section. So whatever comment is happening, you can just check it. Let's say I want to revisit where was this comment. So it will directly take me to the on which subtopic this comment was attached. You can also add an emoji. You can add the, tra you know, an, an tag label or something like that. Let's say this is orange section here. Okay, let's say this is a subtopic. I want to set the priority of four. So I can set the priority of four. Right, the task is done around, let's say, 50%. So I'll just put this label. And let's say this uh, uh, task cannot be done, right? So I'll just write subtopic and put a red flag to it. Right, so these are the images which will help you to identify here. You can change the background color. Let's say I want background color to the blue, so it will change the entire blue. White looks pretty cool here, right? And you can change the text size and everything. Let's say I'll just make it bold here, right? I mean, the branches boldness here. I can just make it thin, right? You can just make this extra changes, which is basically for the appearance, how it looks. Right, now on the top left side corner, you will see the three lines. So these three lines is basically when create a new map. So if I just go and click on new map, it will just redirect to me exactly a complete a new board, right? And yeah, it's opening right now. And there are some other features. You can create new sheets. So new sheets is basically you will able to open the entire thing on the same way here. Let's say this is completely a new board, but on the same whatever browser or whatever you can call it this, right? Now there are more features. For example, you can search for a specific thing. You can rename, you can shake the version history. You can export the in an image or just a normal PDF or you can download the entire thing. You can print this out. So these are these basic features, right? let's get back here now whatever i have open will show up in the recent section you can see here right and so in some cases let's say this is my favorite so i'll just make this favorite if i have deleted some things i'll just click on remove from recent but yeah it's not deleted it just got removed from recent right and let's say this is a business plan which we were just working on right so i can just access it from here this is in my work so everything which i've worked on will show up here and if you want to create something new, you can just go and click on create new and you can just view it completely from here. Now on the top right, there's a settings gear icon, pretty much same here, nothing to explain. Right now, I think if you want to create a team, let's say you're managing two, three teams at the same time, you can create new team and you can assign uh, some members to a team one and different members to the team two. But you will have the access of both of the team or just like how your manager could have the access of both of your team. And it's completely up to them how they manage it up, right? Now, this is how it works. I hope you found this video very useful and subscribe.